Hello and welcome back to another Magic Hatton. Today we're back with another crypto video. Hope you guys are doing well. And we're back with another Pulse Chain video. Yes, the, the, the title is not clickbait. Okay, I was able to buy Bitcoin under $100. And you are able to buy Bitcoin at $200 today. Okay, so today we're going to be covering about how this is only possible in Pulse Chain thanks to the whole, you know, the mastermind behind Richard Hart, the, the man with the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, this was all anticipated, very smart. Yes, he wanted the whole bleed out the past months. And actually, it still hasn't been 50 weeks, to, like he said. So it's, there's still a, a little bit of time before he actually goes full on force with, you know, sacrifice wallets, buying back, you know, entering the collateralization of, of PDI. I made a video on that. But nonetheless, we're talking about more today about the PWBTC, the one that's actually really still early. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, it just started getting more price action in the past couple of days. I've been making videos on this for such a long time, by the way, such a long time. Okay, when PDI, when uh, PWBTC went all the way down from to like 40 something dollars. Okay, so anyways, we're going to be talking about all the alpha that you need to know and all the information that you need to make yourself content with the state of PWBTC in terms of its safetyness. In terms of, oh, you know, admin keys, oh my God, it's not going to be safe, blah, blah, blah. We're going to sort everything out and I'm going to provide all my sources in the description. I've done some research into this a good amount of time. I haven't uploaded in a day and a half because I was moving. I'm back here in my in my flat and I wanted to do some research. You know what I mean? So uh, I hope you guys really been enjoying my content. Uh, it's been a pleasure making video for you guys. And again, I have to thank my DeFi insiders, the YouTube members who chose to support my channel. Okay, I really appreciate you guys. And obviously, okay, I've been giving you guys back in terms of member exclusive videos of what I'm holding us outside of Pulse Chain. Here's an example for you guys. Node AI, G, the Node AI GP, whatever it's called. I made a uh, call right about here when I bought 500. And literally, you know, I, I tell you guys a lot about taking profits along the way. And you guys can see this. I've been laboring it as well. So I invested 500. Cashed out 1.7 here, cashed out 500, and and just yesterday cashed out uh, 1.5. You know what I mean? Absolutely, and I still have a big bag left. <laughs> you know what I mean? So if this goes to a billion, I'm absolutely happy. That's the importance of taking your profits, realizing your gains. But that's besides the point. Okay, that's just me uh, plugging in, being a DeFi insider. That's your, you know, your your. Uh, you know, what you'd get if you chose to support me, okay? I tried to give you guys that value back in terms of Intel. I believe in acting like a whale until you become like one. I use my network to make the videos that I make for the members' exclusive videos. So anyways, I hope it's worth your time and value in uh, choosing to support my channel. Um, going back to it, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> PWBTC, oh my God. Okay, look at it right now, currently at uh, $207. Don't look at this for now because it's, I uh, tracked it on my wallet. I just wanted to show you guys. Okay. Do you see all those buys? Those are all my wallets, my wallet buys. I just want to let you guys understand <laughs> the power of DCAing is absolutely insane because you guys need to understand that back then, specifically back then, right? I've, I've made money with, with Pulse Chain. I've made money with other tokens. You know, up until this point, but back then, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. This is in September. You know what I mean? Very close to my birthday, basically. Guys, I was not making money in anywhere. This was pure money that I'm taking from my bank account and stuff like that. I was not a whale at all. You know, fifty dollars. Look at this. Fifty-five dollars. One hundred seventy-one. One hundred. You know, something, something. And I buy slowly, slowly, slowly until what? I was able to accumulate over twenty. PWBTC over 30 PWBC okay and now finally over 40 milestone can I get to 50 I'm not sure because the price is, is expensive right now but you know what I mean all of a sudden you know with DCA you actually start to become like a whale because you're buying the dips you're buying the lows when it's low volume when you know 99% of the people are not choosing are not you know deciding to buy something you make that 1% action and be like whoa if I need to do what 99% percent of people are not doing <laughs> which is buying right now okay the fear index hello you know what i mean so um i just want to let you guys know you know i'm not a whale okay i am going to become a whale hopefully soon this bull market i want you guys to become whales with me win with me okay this is why i'm making my videos here to uh, get you guys on board to the same level of as mine i believe in shared knowledge is equal to knowledge squared so it's a it's a two bird one stone it's a win-win situation for both of us right i learn more i get to share it with you guys i get to sort of define my you know my edu the stuff that i learned um become a better 
educator as well and you guys get to be informed become independent thinkers become discipline traders have a strategic plan think about okay these are visions milestones where i'm going to take profits these are tokens that i can have under my you know uh, watch list and stuff like that anyways I'm, I'm i'm really diverting a lot we have a lot to go through okay i do apologize for a very long intro it's just haven't, i haven't made a video in such a long time i'm super excited first of all go follow my twitter link to, link in the description can i can i reach 500 500 followers thank you go follow wbtc on, on pulse chain again link in the description to that okay now a quick thing into what is pwbtc this one is one of the prc20 cloned or the PRC20s that's been cloned from Ethereum. So if you guys didn't know, Pulsion launched around 11th of May last year. Pulsion is a is a hard fork of Ethereum, okay? It's a layer one Ethereum coin, okay? But what makes it different is that once it did the fork, it took a snapshot. This is what Richard Hart planned it to do. It He planned it where it took a snapshot, literally the day before it took a snapshot of Ethereum and everyone's holdings and all the tokens on it. And then on Pulse Chain, it will have exactly those tokens and the holders and their amounts. But what? With zero value. Okay, with zero liquidity in all of them. Okay. But the whole point is that that is a freemium. Okay. Where it's the biggest crypto airdrop in history. Where now Ethereum holders and whales and players are more attracted and be like, well, hold on. If I go to this network, I'm going to have an airdrop waiting for me. That's free money. Right, because I love those tokens that started with zero liquidity, zero value, have value right now, and the two specifically that Richard Hart chose to add liquidity off the bat is PWBTC and PDI. You can see in the chart actually in deck screener here it doesn't show for some reason. It should be even higher because actually the all-time high of of PWBTC is actually two thousand something, two thousand five hundred, whatever, which is apparently was ten percent of actual bitcoin at that time okay because i think bitcoin was twenty five thousand dollars okay so you understand the whole point of okay this freemium you know pulse chain one of its attracting features is that hey if you're an ethereum holder chances are you have a fr you know free airdrop waiting for you and again chances are it's it's literally free money waiting for you if you just come here so that's what makes pulse chain one of the reasons why what it makes it super bullish obviously the other reasons because super low uh, cheap gas fees, right? That's the beauty of going for an L1 solution of Ethereum, right? Ethereum is amazing, but sometimes the L1, the younger brother, right? The evolution of Ethereum is better. It's simple as that, really, right? Quicker block times as well, so faster transaction speeds at about 17% better. And obviously validators, we already have uh, 52,000 plus validators, which is absolutely crazy for the ratio of how big this market cap is. Uh, how big it, the network is to validators it's absolutely insane so that's really good now that we got this out of the way okay now i just want to let you guys this is what happens when you click on the contract of pwc i want to let you guys know one of the reasons what makes this bullish okay this is actually one of the reasons why a lot of people say this will reach parity i.e what's the price of bitcoin right now Last time I checked, is around 70,000 all-time high. Absolutely amazing. Yes, people are saying this can reach, uh, you know, parity with Bitcoin, actual Bitcoin price. The same, because guys, you need to understand, this is the same contract as wrapped BTC in Ethereum, okay? And we're going to get to who made that, how things are working, et cetera, et cetera. With the admin keys, we're going we're gonna to answer everything, okay? So don't worry about that. So this is the... the the actual contract here you can see the holders you can see whatever how many holders there are what i want you guys to focus on is this number 154,000 supply that's it that is it when you compare it to pdi pdi is obviously it's going to be in the i don't know millions hundreds of millions i'm going to assume uh probably billions obviously of of circuit uh su supply and circ circulation but this is significantly less supply which is one of the reasons why people saying that this could reach parity i.e reach seventy thousand. yes i said it seventy thousand per wbtc which is right now it's at 207 okay we do this we do some calculation i believe that's going to be more than 300 250x maybe uh oh i'm not quick with mass but i'm going to say 300 300 250x i'm going to assume okay which is absolutely amazing 250x that's a life-changing amount of money is beautiful okay and, th and there's a lot of <laughs> 
ideas coming to the future. Okay, one of the things that have been said by the Forum 4 dev, guys, if you don't know about him, I can't explain it in this in this video. That this, this video is already becoming too long. Okay, Forum 4 dev, he is behind or she is behind because the alias is Maria. She's behind the Atropa ecosystem. Forum 4 dev is in a benevolent, anonymous um, dev who the whole point of the ecosystem is literally to support PDI reaching pegging right literally because it provides the the thickest liquidity of PDI and also it's providing liquidity to um to PWBTC which was recent which was is with poppy to be specific right now uh the liquidity looks like it is uh, 206k value of that which is absolutely amazing because what a tropa he's very smart the the foreign four dev he is very smart because he is utilizing heart's law ladies and gentlemen go look that up but to keep it simple heart's law how it works is you know it utilizes the the you know how liquidity bonding pairs how you choose what you want to pair your token with aids or it's kind of does like this w ripple effect where okay if for example bitcoin goes up Ethereum most likely will go up because it's this kind of a liquidity bonding a lot. You know, for example, if we look at Ethereum, right? Ethereum, if you if you bond, like let's say token A with wrapped BTC, wrapped BTC goes up by 10x, token A will most likely be exposed to that upside. So this is the power of liquidity bonding, right? Um, so anyways, look that up. You know, it's actually simple as that, as I said. And this is why a tropic system uses the, the power of, you know, bonding pairs together and it's like branches and trees and stuff like that where you know if one side is pushes up that other side will get that wave effect it'll take some delay but it'll sooner or later it's kind of the wave theory right um so anyways that's what a tropic system is about you know teddy bear greatest meme coin as well that's by the tropic system a tropic token itself and you got pdi you know going to pegging and pwbtc is next this is what he had to say or she had to say about PWBTC. Okay, let's let's check it out. Based on the numbers, I think we will see the most direct improvement to the P stables price if WBTC pumps first because of low supply. Okay, and we're gonna get to a reason why it's low supply. I'm gonna answer all your questions. This video will be your first, hopefully if it's your first, but most importantly, your final video, okay, into whoa. I need to figure out what is PWBTC and gets all your questions hopefully sorted. If it's not, leave them in the comments below. If it's not as well, go follow my Telegram link description. Join the community. Ask questions. We literally, I'm there every day, literally. All right. And he says, or she says, WBTC will tighten, then the profit will flow into P stables, referring to PUSDT, PDI, PUSDC, okay? Uh, price plus plus percentage per buy volume, a 50k buy moving the price 5200%. That's one BTC, guys. So, literally saying he, she, or she, he, or she, he, or she is saying that one Bitcoin buy, one true Bitcoin buy is gonna can move the price already by a lot. Okay, when direct uh, Bitcoin to pulse bridging is live, it will boom. And that's actually something that's super bullish. Maria also mentions a future direct from bitcoin to pulse bridge that seems to be in development which is absolutely crazy imagine we have a very easy direct bridge from actual bitcoin network straight to pwbtc which is what say it with me it is real bitcoin pwbc is real bitcoin and we will reach that parity ladies and gentlemen okay we will make history Pulse chain. only in this is only possible in pulse chain guys okay what a great time to be in crypto in a cycle one brand new coin much bigger upside than any other note any other network yes ethereum is bullish yes bitcoin is bullish but those are already mainstream there's they're already on centralized exchanges they're already extremely high market cap with thick liquidity and what happens when you have coins with thick liquidity it's much harder to get more x's out of them ladies and gentlemen it's simple as that when you have thick liquidity it, you can think of it as a weight right it's heavy it's very it's harder to move now it's more stable which is a plus but it's more harder to move pulse chain don't get me wrong it's very liquid okay but much bigger upside 
Okay, keep that in mind. This is why I'm I'm, I'm a pulse chain maxi. I still I still interact with Ethereum. That's where I make a lot of my money. You know, the frequent money where I swing trade a lot. Again, members exclusive videos will know about that. But long term holds and stuff like that, generational wealth, is in pulse chain, guys. It's in pulse chain. This is what I'm holding for the long term. Mm. <sighs> Anyways, man, it feels good. It feels good. Anyways, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, give me a like, by the way. Uh, I want to know, Do you? is it fine when I make these videos too long? I really want to hear your thoughts. Whenever you feel, this is another tweet. Whenever you feel like jeeting your PWBTC or da -da -da bags prematurely, please read and reread re -re this, then go out and touch some grass. <laughs> Don't fumble this opportunity for the sake of your grandkids. Pulse chain 10 is that the, you know 1000x absolutely crazy and let's see what's said 440 pwbc added to liquidity with poppy about 50k 50 50k and then he and she said he said uh pwbtc possibly two to one ratio or or better long-term value versus pusd t or three to one ratio compared to p absolutely crazy he's he or she is almost literally but actually saying it's a better long-term investment than PDI. I'm going to assume because PDI is already at like that 100 million market cap. Of course, PDI already did like a 200x technically, right, from the bottom uh, roughly. And obviously, it still has another 200 something x or 300x, I think, probably 200 something now, right, And which is amazing. But I think when you li when you think about early opportunities, PWBTC still has not had that big run here. Guys, we're literally at still at $200 per Bitcoin. Do you understand where Bitcoin price is right now? It's literally at 70k. It's crazy, crazy opportunity, opportunity here. Crazy. Okay, so that's the final tweet. Okay, I'm gonna close that up. So the second thing I just wanted to get back to, you know, where do we get this 154,000 uh, supply from? And guys, this is as, again, again, this is exactly comes from the normal wrapped BTC from Ethereum because it's just a fork. Guys, it's a fork, so it has all the behaviors of normal wrapped BTC. And the and the number comes from, ladies and gentlemen, okay, it's right here in the supply. The number comes from literally here, because how the, the, the contract works is that it would literally, there's a mint and there's a burn function, okay? And this is related to actual Bitcoin uh, network, where if someone sends actual Bitcoin to, you know, a certain wallet, again, it depends on, you know, the, I guess the order book that you can have, uh, You'll see right here. What is it? Partners, you'll see. What is it called again? Exchanges. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. You know, sends actual real Bitcoin to the exchange and then there'll be a, an approval to mint an actual WBTC to keep it balanced, like a, a true one-to-one -to -one balance and keeps the real price of Bitcoin, you know, in within parity because that's what you need, right? You don't want to... If you have people starting to mint P, uh, WBTC then it's going to probably fall out of balance because now people are going to start stealing money, okay, from the liquidity and etc. So it has to keep track of, okay, how many people, how many real BTC are we going to, are we receiving, are we minting, or are we redeeming? So burning, minting, and stuff like that. This, this is why it's 154,000, okay, which is actually such a advantage to us, okay? And we're going to get to more about how, you know, this behavior of the contract is and you know we're gonna acknowledge the whole thing where people say oh there's private keys this contract has private keys it's not safe Richard Hart is not gonna like it blah 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 no 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 we're gonna sort that out okay the short answer is it's it's a multi signature private key kind of system where it literally requires multiple because it's a DAO ladies and gentlemen it's a DAO decentralized autonomous organization where it requires multiple parties to vote for the same action for it to be executed. And we're gonna get into that right now, actually. And most of this information is from this amazing article by Bandolero, okay? Shout out to him, guys. I really suggest, by the way, reading it, link in the description. And I also suggest, you see that address right there of his? Please go send send him a tip, because this is a lot of work, okay? Um, so yeah, absolutely amazing stuff. This article was made in December 27 of 2023 so not too far ago absolutely not and, and we're not going to read it all i just have a three four paragraphs i want to read and that's it we're going to move on ladies and gentlemen it covers a lot of the things about you know the worries about everyone about the admin keys and stuff like that so first of all since the launch 
since the launch of uh, Pulsing PWC has undoubtedly emerged as one of the most sought after PRC 20s, 20 co uh, copies. No, nevertheless, concerns have surfaced due to the presence of admin keys in the original Ethereum contract, prompting questions about the potential risks such as sh such key posed to P PWBTC. The following aims to delve into th these concerns and to assert that PWBTC is in fact a secure asset. So he off the bat given us that it is in fact and he's going to prove us arguably much more so than the ethereum counterpart so he's actually even also presenting that this is more secure than the actual wrapped ethereum uh, wrapped btc on on actual ethereum and the reason being obviously because that one is much bigger of a target okay so if you if you're saying this pwbtc right here is risky then you're going to call the actual true one on ethereum equally as risky okay so simple as that and obviously whichever one will be a bigger target is obviously one with with way more liquidity one with worth much much more i'm not uh, i don't know what's the i mean i can find out real quick actually the market cap of the real uh, ethereum one and remember guys there's multiple forks of this okay the, you will see it right here so obviously the liquidity here uh 100 oh my days look at that 400 14 million liquidity ladies and gentlemen 102 million in liquidity and you scroll down you can see in other chains for example uh da, 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 da. if we scroll down so for example oh, that's the bitcoin one ah okay it's not the same obviously right i have to do this yeah so for example oh, this one again 504k uh this one is 999,000. And then, you know, obviously, there's a lot others in in uh, in in all other chains, guys. Okay, this is and again, we're gonna talk more about this. This is made by a company called Bitco. Okay, we're gonna get to. Okay, this doesn't mean that they can now all, all, all of a sudden, you know, mint unlimited money. They're gonna go rogue, whatever. Even if they wanted to go rogue, they cannot. And we're gonna answer your question why. Okay, so the introduction of the wrapped Bitcoin Ethereum. Contract on Ethereum was first announced by Bitco in 2018, as detailed in the following post. Bitco was established in 2013, boasting boasting thus a decade-long presence in the cryptocurrency space. So off the bat, they're they're very credible, they're very reputable. The wrapped Bitcoin e contract ecosystem in turn came to be deployed in early 2019. Blah blah blah. Notably, these contracts underwent audits, so that's another check mark as mergers. From these audits, Bitco, Bitco, while maintaining exclusivity, exclusive custody of the BTC for which wrapped BTC on Ethereum and other chains can be redeemed, exercises much more restricted control over Ethereum side and WBTC contract. So to mitigate the counterparty risk of assets under its custody, a verification of Bitco's real-time holdings is facilitated by Chainlink's proof of reserve. So the stuff that I just showed you right here. Okay, where you can actually see how much is in the true network side and then the custody side. This is using the uh, Chainlink's proof of reserve, okay, which is real time. Again, I'm going to assume this is uh, this uses some type of Oracle. I think that's the right word to use here. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, we go down here. In summary, this policy asserts Bitcoin's commitment to passing the value of forks and airdrops to its uh, custodied assets to its customer. Evidently, undermining the value of PWBTC would contradict this principle as many of Bitco's customers stand to benefit from the success. This is the main part that I actually wanted to say. Nevertheless, currently, Bitco is unlikely to articulate a specific stance on PWBTC for, according to their policy, in order for Bitco to support any fork or airdrop, the asset should generally be traded in the top 10 exchange on a top 10 exchange, attain a market cap of at least 100 million. What is the market cap of PWBTC? 31 million. So we're not we're a little bit far away from that. And maintain liquidity for uh, over at least 25 million. I think we're still far away from that. Uh, USDC for co consecutive 14-day period. Until these criteria are met, the Polish community can therefore expect PWBTC to remain disregarded by Bitcoin. Which, by the way, Bitcoin, I mean, which, by the way, when they regard it, is still not a bad thing, like, you know what I mean? These are very trusted people. They're not going to do anything. 
like well and we're going to get to the reason why even if they wanted to do anything they cannot is a doubt there's you know pre-authorized people and it would need a majority vote for something to actually go through and we're going to see a case where you know a majority of the vote did go through i'm going to show you guys you know how this works is actually pretty cool uh more so yeah more importantly uh did, 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 i think uh, more importantly because eventual stance may ultimately not turn out uh, to matter this is due to the crucial distinction while Bitcoin maintains sole custody of actual BTC the governance of WBTC on Ethereum is exercised by a DAO as I said decentralized autonomous organization with a multi-signature wallet where bit which is absolutely crazy that's such, such a crazy technology right there I need to look into that multi-signature wallet where Bitgo holds merely one of 13 keys which used to be one of 18 but it updated and this again power of DAOs where you can update things like you know what I mean it, it's just amazing man other than BitGo the WBTC DAO is compromised of important players such as MakerDAO uh, Kyber Network originally and I obviously guys MakerDAO is the people behind actual DAI from Ethereum okay so super trustworthy uh, Kyber Network I'm, I need to learn more but you know they're to do with the liquidity side of things um, originally there were 18 DAO members and any changes to the contract required 11 signatories. So actually, you'd need to get 11 approvals out of those 18. Currently, there are 13 DAO members um, and any chances uh, to the BT WBTC related contracts require a signature of eight members. So I just want to let you guys, you know, for just an example. This was a proposed change where, you know, has been proposed by this person. And then you can see where, you know, it tells you all oh, previous members, these are 18 seats, 11 required. And then he updated or he proposed a new update with 13 seats, eight votes required. Uh, he just updated because, you know, some of them are AFK and some of them even lost their keys, whatever. Um, so, you know, this is the new pro proposed one. And it went through and you can see that by seeing that new transaction number right here. 37 c5 so you can see it this is a the transaction id and you can see that created 37 c5 and obviously kyber swap deployer um again that that's the transaction you can see this happened 479 days ago this is where you know the dao approved list uh, is updated and you can even click on this like you can see the you know read and write uh functions if you go here so read read functions you can see is owner or you can get owners uh, expected zero, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I need to connect my wallet most likely. But going back to that website, the article, we're going to scroll to, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We, gonna, we know that. I just want to now the next thing and possibly the last thing about this video is the minting. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, the minting process of PWBTC and its implications for PWBTC safety consideration. Examining the functions of WBTC contracts should ne nevertheless be undertaken into more detail to reveal potential attack vectors, if any, that could pose a threat uh, to PWBTC. The WBTC on Ethereum smart contract is consists in essence of approved merchants. Okay, keep that keep that in mind. Approved merchants, a custodian, which is Bitcoin, one of the custodians, and a DAO member, and the DAO members. I mean. These contracts, in turn, cannot be modified without the approval of a DAO. Direct integration between Bitcoin and WBTC holders is, there, is therefore not possible. In this context, it, it is also worth mentioning that it's unlike certain stablecoins such as USDT and USDC, the WBTC contract ecosystem lacks the black fist, uh, blacklist function nor is bitcoin able to directly mint wbtc and we're going to get to the reason why because when you go back to here and you go, go to the partner you'll see that bitcoin is a DAO member is a custodian yes but it is what it's not a merchant because merchants are the ones that need to actually request a minting to happen and i believe a burning to happen i'm not sure if they can also request a burning to happen okay so you need to have a merchant that actually requests it Therefore, then Bitcoin can then approve it or not. Okay, it cannot actually make its own request and approve it. It's just there. It is a custodian, okay, and a DAO member. Um, so yeah, instead, the minting process of the WBTC requires merchants in control of the wallet addresses significantly designated by smart contract on Ethereum to send actual BTC to Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain. Okay, 
that's obviously step one, requirement number one, and concurrently a request for the burn address to send an equivalent amount of freshly minted WBTC to the same specified wallet Ethereum side. Upon receiving actual BTC on the Bitcoin blockchain, BitGo then approves the merchant's request on Ethereum. Then and only then is WBTC is minted and sent directly to the merchant's designated address, who is then free to distribute this to end users. Cons consequently, BitGo, the custodian, can neither directly mint WBTC nor come in contact with any newly minted WBTC. Okay, rather its soul is strictly limited to approving merchants and minting requests. Guys, this ah, so beautiful, man. This have literally answered everyone's concerns about the admin keys. How there's a DAO, it literally would take literally eight signatures for an action to go. That if it was malicious, it would require people like Maker. It would require people like Chainlink, people like you know what I mean. Uh, you know, Kyber, Crystal, you know, I don't really know a lot of those people. But, you know, these are very, very high profile people that have seats for the voting system. And you need eight of them to agree. So we need eight to turn, to go rogue. Like what? To go rogue, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, out of all this, and he does mention it in the in the end of the, in the, end of the con uh, thing, he here says, put differently, PWC stands at the bottom of the list of targets at the top of this. This is actually BTC is the actual Bitcoin, then the WBTC on Ethereum, then WBTC on other chains. And then and only then PWBT emerge as a target for value extraction. Consequently, one may advance that PWBT is, in fact, the safest form of WBTC currently in the market. Oh my God. And finally, it also is worth noting that Bitcoin's wallet address on PostChain currently has no transaction history. And this is what I'm going to link in the description as well. Uh, I put it somewhere. There we go. This is the actual Bitcoin, uh, the relevant Bit Bitcoin address. PostChain has zero address, so cannot even make any, cannot even make any transactions. And uh, ownership transferred, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, fair enough. Those are the only two logs. But aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, Mm, look at that. Oh, it's holding 14. Wow. Anyways, aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we've reached the end of this amazing video. Okay, it covers everyone's... every and But, but this is by the, the Telegram of PWBC link description as well to this, where people were saying, 414 address is buying. You have been warned. <laughs> and this was, I believe, the price where I'm going to assume was around still $70. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you scroll down and then there was a tweet that just the final, final tweet that I just wanted to tell you guys that there is, by the way, a version three liquidity pool. Like, it's actually crazy. There is a V3 liquidity in Pulse Chain, by the way, guys. A lot of people actually don't know this. Um, and you can actually see this if I go to here. Actually, it makes it super easy. If I paste this here and if I click on Pulse Chain on Dex Tools... You can see that oh it doesn't say version which version it is. But anyways, it's okay, let's go back to this one. Okay, if you scroll down, uh you will be able to see version three. There we go. 196k liquidity, which is actually amazing, and it's version three um you know pool in WBTC, which is absolutely amazing. Um, and then this is the message that was left, and I wanted to read it to you guys because I think this is amazing for people to know if they don't want to ruin the chart, if they want to sell something. This is an example of how you can take profits by providing liquidity on a 9mm dot pro. And again, link in the description for that. Vision 3, you can add one-sided liquidity above the current price. Um, then as the price rises, you get left with the pair you want to DCA out to. By doing this, you're not hurting the chart. You gain fees instead of losing on slippage. You make life easier for whales by providing more liquidity and you accumulate points for a 9mm token airdrop, which is absolutely amazing. And as well, at the same time, you know, consider, for example, you know, trading on the version 3 one, which is absolutely super simple. You know, you can click on this button when you're on Dex Screener or just go on uh, 9mm.pro and then click on the 9mm Dex 3. And then again, if you also wanted to add liquidity here, it's actually really great APRs, by the way. I've actually already simulated this. So if you click on add liquidity, you put uh, WBTC, 
and then you put, I believe it's dye. Let's double check. I believe it's dye. I'm not sure if it's, yeah, it's, it's dye. So let me quickly double check if it's P dye or dye. So I put it back here. Let me see. Yeah, yeah okay, it's dye. Um, you put that there. Interesting, it's not showing. Okay, what if it's pulse? Your position will appear here. Oh, oh add liquidity. Uh, w, B, T, C, pulse, 1% maybe, whatever. So anyways, if you go 1% or if I do die, if I do that, your position will appear here. I do 1%, I think. Uh, no, I think I'm wrong, guys. I think it's just pulse. I think it's 1%. Yo, this is weird because it would literally p choose it automatically for me here. <laughs> One second. If, what if it's the other way around and that's all it, what it wanted to do? Ah, anyways, anyways, guys, uh, you can see it's as simple as, ha, huh. this is weird. Oh, I need to switch it. Don't worry about this uh, part of the video, guys. Okay. Again, this is a uh, kind of unplanned for, <laughs> but I'm just, all I won't say, I won't show you that obviously with the, uh, version three liquidity, uh, pool providing is that there's ranges so the tighter the range the price range the more the more uh, fee yield you'll get so for example you've put on 20 and if i put one pwbtc and i put it on you know where it's 200 200 on either on either side right now the apr is telling me that i'm gonna make 700 percent apr now that's great obviously uh but you know most likely it will fall out of the 20% range once this pumps 20% of its price or goes down 20% above that. But the beautiful thing about being impulsing, everything's super cheap. You can do that. Recreate another version three liquidity pool, which comes in an NFT form. So absolutely great. Guys, <laughs> that was an amazing video. Okay, the final, final, final thing that I'm going to do in this video is literally calculate how many, how many X's are we away from parity? So Bitcoin is at currently right now roughly at 70,000. And the price right now is at two, two, one. We are at 316. Absolutely crazy. 316 X is away. Okay. And if you want to know, this is something that I had in my mind ages ago. And I talked about this. If you want to know how many you need to hold to become a millionaire off of this, Let's do 1 million, you know, it's just me being 1 million divided by 70,000. That means you need to own 14 PWBTCs to become a millionaire once it goes to what parity. So how much does that equate to how much price at, the, you know, at the current market price right now? We do that times 221, you know, a 3,100 investment can turn into a $1 million dollar investment by the time it reaches parity some people even say the price of pwbt can even surpass real bitcoin i'm not sure about that because i feel like you know the behavior of the of the of the contract probably won't allow it to i think it will just hold you know once it reaches around that number i think it will just parrot you know what's the word peg or parity itself you know and it will it'll actually hold it um so yeah anyways ladies and gentlemen <laughs> It's been absolutely amazing making this video. I understand it's super, super long, but you know, I haven't made a video in a day and a half. So, you know, I had to be doing something and I was researching. Okay. I was actually being super, number one, I was being super grateful to God because of, you know, we were really blessed to, to have something like crypto, an instrument for us to make money super smart. Right. So obviously all praise to God. This is all possible things to God. You know what I mean? Um, and as well, you know, and actually, today is a special day. It's going to be the first day of Ramadan. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be fasting, which is the reason why I'm making this video super late because I'm staying awake. I'm going to eat, which is actually uh, in 15 minutes. So I'm actually going to have to eat the most and drink the most in 15 minutes before uh, I start my fast. But thankfully, the day times are not too long here in the UK. Um, but, yeah, you know what I mean? Guys, again, uh, I really urge you guys to enjoy the journey don't just be fixated on the destination enjoy the journey enjoy life learn you know always seek self-development you know increase your knowledge knowledge is power 
And uh, yeah, I'm going to carry on, guys. I'm going to carry on learning. I'm going to carry on giving you guys amazing content. Hopefully, you find it amazing. Obviously, because that's what matters. I might think it's amazing. But if you don't, let me know in the comments, guys. Like, give me all the feedback. Let me know if the video is too long. Let me know if I went on too many tangents, okay? So uh, I really appreciate you guys. I want you guys to win me with me this bull run. I want this bull run. I want you guys to treat this bull run as if it's your last bull run. Make as much money. Don't marry your bags, okay? Don't marry your bags. But at the same time, don't ruin no charts. Don't oh, double negative. Don't ruin any charts, okay? If you become a whale... And hopefully I do, uh, hopefully I wish you do. Think about the chart. Think about how it's going to look. Don't exit all at once. You know, make it look pretty. Exit slowly. One cell per hour. I don't know. One cell per day. One cell per week. You know what I mean? Don't ruin the chart for other people. You know, I understand crypto is a sort of sport, but think about others. Okay, think about others. Again, I'm just telling you this. This is down, down, down the line. But you know appreciate it appreciate you guys uh and a shout out to zach by the way super cool guy and uh yeah damn huh what a good video guys this almost feels like a, finishing a movie here appreciate you guys honestly you know pdi pwptc like these are crazy crazy narratives in pulse chain only possible in pulse chain am i right anyways guys go follow my twitter link in the description um i'll see you guys soon in another video and take care